The suspect accused of killing two people inside a dorm room at UCCS last month will undergo a mental comp health competency evaluation. His defense attorney made the request during a court hearing today. News 5's Maggie Bryan is joining us in studio with what it means for the case and how long it could take to move forward. Maggie. Diane, it's not clear when we'll know the results of the competency evaluation for the suspect, Nicholas Jordan. If he is found to be incompetent, he'll receive treatment from the state mental health hospital. But the Department of Human Services says right now there are hundreds of people also waiting for treatment. Basically, I just want to say I'm an incompetent. During a review hearing this morning, an attorney for the UCCS shooting suspect requested his mental competency be evaluated. The suspect, Nicholas Jordan, is accused of murdering his 24-year-old roommate and a 26-year-old woman inside his dorm room last month. It's not an uncommon thing for competency to be raised, especially when we're dealing with people who have been accused of, of murdering people, right? Attorney Jeremy Lowe says questioning competency usually means there are significant mental health issues getting in the way of legal proceedings. Oftentimes when I have found people to be uh, incompetent and it's been determined they were incompetent, we're dealing with some pretty severe schizophrenia, some severe um, bipolar, uh, things that really are pretty observable in the court. Raising competency means the suspect's attorneys are questioning whether he's able to understand what's happening during court proceedings and if he's able to help with his own defense. This is different than an insanity plea, where a defense team would have to prove their client was not in their right mind at the time of the crime. Jordan will be evaluated by a psychologist from the state mental health hospital. If he's found to be incompetent to stand trial, he'll receive treatment and possibly medication until his competency is restored. The Office of Civil and Forensic Mental Health says the average wait to be admitted to the state mental health hospital for restoration is 94 days. Right now, they say 355 people are waiting to be admitted. A spokesperson told News 5 the reason for the backlog is because of low staffing and a 159 percent increase increase in court orders for competency restoration treatment. I think that he's potentially a difficult individual, but I think he's understanding the proceedings. Um, and I think that he just has potentially a lack of trust in, in the system. But I do believe that he will likely be found competent. Jordan will be back in court on April 12th at 11 a.m. for a review hearing to check the status of the competency evaluation.